In this video, I'll show you how to define some basic project settings in Easy Titles. When you start a new file, the Project Settings window shows up. You can also find it later when you go to File, Project Settings, or simply click this icon on the toolbar. As a subtitler, you probably work for different clients who have different style guides and requirements on subtitle settings. Easy Titles allows you to define a different template for each client so that you don't need to change the settings each time you run the software. You can even create groups of templates if you wish. So let's create a new template now with new settings. So I click on New and give it a name. Let's say it's for our SDH course, so I'll call it SDH. And I can include it in my AVT Masterclass group. Let's go over the basic parameters that you can see in the tabs on top here. First thing you choose is a type of project, the type of subtitles you will create, or closed captions, that is the option for the US market. Choose the right video format and a frame rate here. The program will automatically recognize the video format and the frame rate and it will prompt you if there are any inconsistencies in the project settings. Let's have a look at the next tab, Save Area. Here you can choose the maximum number of characters per line. In my case it's 40 characters. In the Subtitles tab you can choose the default alignment. If you want your subtitles to appear in the center, this is where you need to click. Another important setting is the reading speed which you can conveniently choose in either characters per second or words per minute. Please make sure you tick the option Count Spaces and Count Punctuation. Finally, in the last tab, Cues, you define the minimum interval, that is, how many frames you want to have as a gap between consecutive subtitles. In my case, it's two frames. You can also define your threshold for chaining here. In Durations, you set the minimum and maximum duration of a subtitle. In my case, it's 1 second and 6 seconds, respectively. You also define how many frames before a short change a subtitle should end and how many frames after a short change a new subtitle can begin. And again, I have two frames in both settings. If you tick the box Snap to Shot Changes on Set Queue, the program will automatically snap the in and out cues of your subtitles when you are spotting. And that's it! We have just defined the most important project settings which you will typically find in your client's style guide. Now make sure you save these settings if you want to keep them for the future.